to be. Some of you might love to go back to your hometowns. Some of you like to roam the country, but there's a place that where life is, and there's a place where life is. Uh, it re it refreshes you, and uh, it's none other than being with Jesus in His presence, just listening to Him. And uh, if you have not tasted that, we invite you to just join us, and from within you, from every every facet of your being just just be open to the lord and say lord i'm here to meet with you hallelujah so let's just take this time and just open our hearts it's very easy to do everything right on the outside with our bodies but if our hearts are still born and it's hidden just open it up to jesus because anyways he can see it and there's nothing that is hidden from his gaze and he is, he is so careful with your heart. And he is here to mend it, cleanse it, refill it, enlarge it. He can do much more than we can ask or imagine. So let's just meet with our creator. Because there's no better place than his presence. Because the taste of his presence leaves us refreshed. And it, it allows us to do much more than we can usually do. Amen. Hallelujah. So just a... Uh, Open your hearts as we just sing this song. You know, we can rise in our places. And let us declare this morning that with Him is where we want to be. His presence is what we long for. And that He alone is enough for us.
And I just want to be where you are And I just want to be near your heart There is nothing like your love There is nothing like your love his heart is a place of the outpour of his love and once we taste his love he touches the very core of us the very core of us that we take so much time to hide and we are set free oh this morning can we just worship our God from, from, the, po from the core of our hearts just worship him just open up and say Lord I'm here and I want to meet with you. I want to meet with you, oh Lord, Father God. Oh Lord, we've heard of your love, we've tasted your love, but once again, new mercies for today, Lord. heartfelt, the word hearty, the word heartful, all of these words have one thing in common and it's our heart. And whenever somebody does something from their heart, it touches our heart as well. Today when we do something in the name of worship, let it come from our hearts, not just our mouths. Let it come from our hearts from deep within because that's the one thing that the Lord wants to worship, wants when we worship him a heart that is just bare in front of him just as it is coming in front of him let's give him our all let's give him our all when we worship him let's not hold back anything just come as you are hallelujah I will give you
says that the Lord has beforehand planned for each of our lives that we may walk into it, good works that we may walk into it. The Lord has prepared a way for each one of us. When he created us, he has steps, footsteps in front of us that he has laid. And let's be people who fulfill each of the steps that he wants us to do for each day. Because where he goes, let us be able to go and let Wherever he tells us to go, let us go. And let us be people who fulfill what he wants in our lifetime, through our lives. Hallelujah. You and I are here in this generation, in this time frame, because God wants to do something for his name's sake through our lives. And let's be people who say, Lord, unless you go with me, I don't want to take a step forward. Jesus lived like that. And Jesus says, I have food that you do not know of. My food is to do the will of the Father and to finish it. Some of us might have started well doing the will of the Father, but then we started depending in our own strength and we might have strayed. But God is saying, you need, you need me. You need my steps. You need my help to finish what I have started in your life. So let's walk in step with Jesus today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's worship him with this prayer. Hallelujah.
of Gethsemane, knowing that the next day was his day of crucifixion, Jesus was struggling and he struggled and travailed in prayer so much that sweats of his, his sweat turned into tears of drop of blood. And it was such an agonizing moment where he says, Lord, take this cup of suffering away from me. But immediately he says, but yet not my will, but yours be done. Many of us are going through very uncomfortable, difficult, intolerable situations and we, we just want it to pass. But the Lord is saying, in that crushing, in that, in that pressing, in that absolute surrender, God is being glorified. Because Jesus continued in surrender till his last breath on the cross, we are alive today. What we might have started, the day we were born again, we started in surrender. But we need to move in every step. It has to be a step of surrender. Never leaning on our own understanding. Never leaning on what is convenient for us. What is more promoting for us. But Lord, we want to be people who surrender our will every day, O oh Lord, Father God. Jesus. Lord, on the altar. Let us be able to be that living sacrifice. We offer ourselves, even when we don't want to, we want to offer ourselves on that altar, Lord, today and say, Lord, take me as I am, Lord, Father God. Oh, Lord, we just want to worship you, oh, Lord, Father God. Because in every pressing, in every crushing, it's not that you are breaking us, but, Lord, you are bringing something beautiful that is out of us, Lord, Father God. That is the fragrance of Christ, O oh Lord, Father God. Lord, you are bringing out new wine. And Lord, Father God, new wine from each of our lives that, that, that smells, O oh Lord, Father God, fragrant to you, O oh Lord, Father God. 
We worship you, O oh Lord. In the crashing, in the pressing, you are making new wine. In the soul I thou surrender, you are breaking new ground. In the crushing. Crushing in the pressing, you are making new wine. In the sore light, now surrender, you are breaking new ground. So I yield to you and to your care. In the pressing, you are making new wine. In the sore light, now surrender, you are breaking new ground. You are breaking. Make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. Lord, I came here with nothing, but all you have given me, Jesus, bring you wine. Let's be people who surrender ourselves for whatever He wants to do because His hands are careful hands. He knows your frame. He will never crush you beyond what you can bear. But whenever you are in the potter's hands, I know 
that you are being made into something beautiful as a vessel for his name and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you willing to just surrender to him today? Because when you are a vessel, he can fill you. He can fill you so, so in a new way. If you are dry, just come to him right now. Hallelujah. Where there is you, I, there is you, power. There is you, freedom. The kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire to Make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. Oh, I came here with nothing, but all you have given me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Can we offer ourselves to him and say, Lord, here I am. Take me as I am, Lord Father God. I offer myself just the way I am, Lord Father God, because, Lord, you are the only one who can change me, O oh Lord Father God. Hallelujah. You are my refuge. You are my fortress. You are the place where I can hide. You are my comfort. You are the one who leads me. You are my shepherd. Jesus, we look to you, O Lord, Father God.
Father God, Lord, you have required this, Lord, that we may offer our bodies as a living sacrifice to you daily on the altar by renewing our minds, O Lord, Father God. And Lord, we pray that, Lord, even during this entire week, that we will continually surrender and keep ourselves on that altar for you, O Lord. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, O Lord, Father God. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we say, Amen. Amen.